Greetings everybody, welcome. I am the Phoenix and I am here to show you how auto compounding works. Hopefully the mic is working, so therefore that I can actually explain how this is working. Um, so basically what it is, is you go to creation, alright? Uh, first thing you need to have is you have to have the recipe. So you go to like like you get the recipe from either a shoddy paper or straw paper. Uh, this is for like the um, for the like, the resurrection elixir. So just like that there. Once you have the recipe, you gotta have the recipe. If you sell the recipe or give away the recipe, then you probably won't have it anymore. But you gotta have the recipe. Next, you need to have any character, any of the characters, at level 4 or above. Having it at level 4, you'll have slot 1 of compounding. Level 7 will give you 2 slots of compounding. And level 10 will give you 3 slots. Alright? So, with that there, press square. Or well, uh, don't go to don't go to where like you're selecting the item. What you're doing is you're going to go into press square, and then you can choose what recipe you want. All right. And then once you highlight a recipe, press R1 to put it into the slot. You can put others into the slots, but they're all not worth it. Resurrection Elixir is actually worth it because you actually profit on it whereas everything else it's not really a profit anyways so once you have it highlighted you're done all you gotta do is just exit out all right and as you can see there you can see there it says auto compound now basically what how this works is you go to a shop Basically, what you do is you then sell everything. But then you also go back and then you can buy the, the ingredients. Uh, Thanks for stopping by. Thanks. And then basically, what you do open the menu, exit, auto compound. You go back in. You'll see you don't have the blueberries, you don't have the uh, fresh sage anymore. Buy it. Thanks, now here's another thing. Thanks. The auto compounding will work as long as you don't have 20 of the item. So if I exit out, it only did 3 there. Because I only had 17. It will not go over 20. So you can't really make a lot of cash faster that way because whatever. Uh, but yeah, 20 freaking elixirs. Just sold them. Thanks. Bought my freaking berries and sage again. Open the menu. Close the menu. And there it goes again. Now you may have saw on there it said autos. Oh, uh, Autos or sold automatically file goop. File goop is a failed item. File goop is not the item that we're going for. So therefore, it just went ahead and sold it. Like I said, we're, we're not looking for it. So therefore, I guess that's the only thing that it's going to sell or something. I don't know. But it's not what we're going for. And boom. Uh, where's it at? Barely freaking read half of this stuff. Um, yeah, there we are. 17 elixirs, no berries or freaking fresh sage left. Wrong buttons. It's been a while since I've been since I played. Would play today, but freaking I got Pokemon to play. But yeah. There's the elixirs. Sell it. Thanks. Damn it. Buy the berries. 
by the sages. Thanks. Open the menu. Close the menu. Auto craft or auto compound it. And you can do this basically as much as you want. Uh, another thing is the character that has it that way or has it set up that way will not Thanks. get any experience for it. Auto compounding it's its own thing and uh, does not affect the characters whatsoever. You're just setting it up. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. That's how auto compounding works.